Okay, we've finally got a beta version of Nomad Sculpt for the uh, desktop, and I'm using it on a Mac. Uh, obviously, it's Mac and PC, so let's take a little look. It's a very quick video, as I haven't done one for quite a while, and it's just to basically get you up and running with the beta. So we're halfway through the year and I've hardly done any videos this year. So I've been super busy in three main things. So one, I'm teaching as a senior lecturer at John Moores University these days. So obviously all summer now I'm going to be back to creating videos here for you guys. But uh, most of my winters now are going to be teaching um, uh, in media production mostly. Um, so if you, if you want to know any more about that, then just follow me on LinkedIn. Uh, I've also been working on uh, an unannounced BBC show. Uh, I want to show you more about that because I use Nomad Sculpt quite a lot for the work I did on that. So I'll share that when I can tell you more about that. And the last thing is we've got a dinosaur uh, release coming up. So it's not a course. It's something I've been working with uh, a company called um, Everything Dinosaur. And I've got our first release coming on the 3rd of June, which at the time of recording is a few days away. So as soon as I can share that, I'll share it here on the YouTube channel. So I have been busy. I just haven't been doing a lot of Nomad or, or modeling or sculpting videos. So... Back on to the beta then. So basically we've now got access to a beta. So if you want to get involved and you want to start trying Nomad Sculpt and you want, you want to help the community to, to you know build a better version of that, you can access the beta. Now at the time of writing uh, or recording, should I say, it is quite limited. So there's only one brush and that's a little bit limited, but the functionality is there and you can learn how to use it. So I'd suggest you get it and then you know maybe just wait until it's a little bit more rounded if, if you're that kind of person but if you like getting involved and you like to shape the way a piece of software is used then get involved on the discord so head over to nomadsculpt.com and find your way to their discord server and you can influence how this app is developed in the future so you you know it depends on how you are i'm not a very good beta tester so i like to use a piece of software how i how i use it i have a certain number of requirements for, for before i start making videos with a piece of software um, and obviously Nomad's one of my, my all-time favorite pieces of software along with ZBrush. Um, but I'm not the best at doing the beta team. So if you want to join it, be prepared. Obviously for bugs, be prepared for problems and you know reinstalling and things like that. But it is up and running and I'll show you a quick look around it now uh, here on the Mac. So if you're used to Nomad Sculpt on the iPhone or the iPad, you're going to be used to just going to the App Store and downloading it. Well, it's different on a PC or a Mac. You have to go over to nomadsculpt.com forward slash beta and download either a DMG or a .zip. Now, zip is for PC. So if you're on a Windows machine, that's that one. And if you're on a Mac like me, it's .dmg. So it's basically a disk image. So download that, click on it, and uh, it downloads to your uh, machine. And then you basically can unpack that. So for me, that's as simple as double clicking on it. And then you can either double click on that or just drag it to the applications folder. And then futuristically, if you just do command and space and type Nomad Sculpt, basically, like if I spell it correctly, nomad sculpt it will come up there and it'll be active like like any other app and there you go i have it up and running literally straight away now one of the first things you might want to notice is that obviously you don't draw on the screen unless you've got something like a, a wacom cintiq or a, a sense labs uh, 24 something like that but most people, and um, you know, m most people start with just a simple graphic tablet like this and, and a pen. This one's a Sense Labs, but I started and probably spent 20 years with a Wacom. And you can get the smaller ones. This is a medium size, um, and that's the pen you'll be using. So it's got a set of buttons on it, and you can you can uh, you know use certain functions I, I, as you would on the the ipad you, you know you can do certain things with your pen but you can do a lot more once once this is fully configured for the pc you'll see that you can do a lot more now one thing you might want to do is you might want to look at your screen resolution so it depends um again whether you're on a pc or a mac but but if you want these icons to be smaller and you want more screen real estate then if you uh, for me i would just use three finger strike across and i've opened up the display uh, options which is from here on a Mac which is on settings and then 
um, displays down here and you can see there you've got different sizes exactly the same on Windows you're just changing the, the, the you know the basically the, the, the size of the resolution for the screen and I want more space so I want this to go up to um, a, you know a, a much better size for me and if you look now um, it, it gives me smaller icons so it's just it, you know and you can go even higher and if you've got a 4k resolution monitor you, you know I haven't tested that yet but basically you, you can before you even start in Nomad you can adjust um, the, the, your screen resolution which definitely does help so it is limited now you're gonna have to bear this in mind so I'm not saying you know this isn't gonna replace Nomad for you just yet but as you can see up here we've got a limited amount of tools so we've got clay move insert transform gizmo measure select and view so it's the most cut down but actually when you're working on a, a beta of a product it's good to have limited tools so um, I'm, I'm sure um, the developer is you know he, he's literally just getting this you know he's, he's basically just getting this all working um, with, with the you know the the minimal amount of tools so obviously you've got move and you've got clay and you can do the negative by using option so that's you know on a windows machine i guess that will be alt but for me um you know that, that that's uh, you know th that's how it works with you know to, to get the, the negative so just hold down option and you get that you know the reverse so you get the brush going in now what i don't have is i don't have a smooth on there so i don't on zbrush or on a lot of programs you'd hold down shift and at the moment that doesn't work so th there isn't a smooth option um on your keyboard there i'm sure there is a smooth option i haven't just found it yet but um, and again that will be something that comes really really quickly i guess now one of the things you might want to know is um you can uh, you can voxel remesh so that's one of the most important things so if you just have a look at the model here and you basically have a look at the wireframe you can see the wireframe as it stands and then if i come up to our top menu exactly as we would on zbrush you've got multi-res voxel dyno or dyn topo um, miscellaneous so you can do your own uv unwrapping etc but on the voxels there's our remesh so you can say um, go like 150 and remesh it okay exactly as this you know the same as we would uh, in nomad scope so you have got the core functionality here um, and that's the first thing i look for to see if i've got that um, you know it would be great to get the rest of our brushes you know things like crease but you know you know and certainly to you know get a, getting a smooth on the on the keyboard um uh but someone might correct me actually you you, you might be able to find that um it, it's on there and i just i just haven't found it um so uh you've got your normal gizmo you know you so you can do you can do movements as 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 you would i don't use that very often that gives you your normal translation your rotation you know etc the buttons down at the bottom are exactly the same so you've got things like putting the grid on that's quite useful for some people and obviously you want to have perspective on and off so you know you you, you if, if any button that you're used to uh, seeing down here isn't there it's up here exactly the same and you can switch all your buttons on and off uh, as you need to so come up to the top here I'd like um, uh, let me see what else do we want um, solo is on it's already on so we'll do outline a love outline projection i'll put on that one can be useful um uh, and perspective on and off is already there so we, we already had that one so they're, they're the ones that you'd be looking for a, a, a lot so you can bring stuff in so i can do something like uh, an import so navigate to a file new project or the same scene and just bring in what you've you know what you've been working on so this is a robot i was using for uni and it all works exactly as you would expect so um in terms of some of the other basics so let's have a look we can change uh to mat cap or from lit so sculpting or lighting a scene is fine um, and with your mat caps you'll have a set of mat caps that come with it so you know what you would expect from from normal nomad um so if you think about it, um, th th this is, I wouldn't say it's a game changer because a lot of people have grown up using Nomad for, for the very reason that it's on the, the um, mobile device. But this gives you much more flexibility because you're now going to be able to do everything that you would do on your iPad, on your PC as well. So larger screen, you know, more RAM, um, you know, a, a better chip in, in a lot of cases. 
And when we get functionality of all the brushes and all of the tools, then it's going to be a choice of whether you want to pay that subscription and go to ZBrush or whether or, or Blender, which obviously is free, um, or whether you want to stick with Nomad and stick with it on the PC and Mac. And that's gonna that's gonna change a few things for you know, people are gonna make some decisions, especially people coming into this for the first time. That they're, they're gonna ha have the ability to you know make make a choice of, of what kind of tool they want rather than just the ones that have been around forever obviously there's a lot more there's 3d coat and uh, you know maya's got a lot of sculpting tools and if you're a student um obviously you get a lot of those for free certainly maya you get completely for free while you're at uni um but this is quite exciting um you know i'll do i'll do tutorials um on the pc once everything's up and running obviously you've seen me using the um the, the, the tablet so you may not be familiar with how to use one of them so if you know if needed i'll do some you know i haven't done videos on how to use a graphic tablet in years but that would be cool and one of the tests i'm going to do is i'm going to test this on a uh, Wacom Cintiq um, or, or possibly uh, the, the, the larger Sense Labs tabs. They're the ones where the pen touches the screen directly. And I'm quite interested to do that test, so look out for that video. But there you go, that'll get you up and running. You've got, you know, it's a quick whirlwind tour of what's in there, and you can see everything on screen that you've got available, including the fact that I'm left-handed and I've switched the interface. So, you know, you know, it's up and running, it's there. We just need our tools, so. If you like this kind of thing give us a thumbs up and if you want more of this kind of content let us know and subscribe to the channel down below have a wonderful week everyone